Okay, I'm going to do a short update on my everyday carry. And this is the bin into which I put all my everyday carry items when I come home from work or come home from uh, the outdoors. And that way everything's in one place. I know where to find it and I can just grab it at a moment's notice before I head back out again. So let's just start with the wallet. It's the same wallet as before. Um, I have gone back to uh, wearing a wristwatch. Um, I vacillate between wearing them and not wearing them because of certain wristwatch related incidents that happened in my youth, one in particular. In which a guy comes up to me and asks me what time it was. This was, you know, very early in the morning when I was doing my paper route on a very snowy Saturday morning. And at the time I didn't actually have a wristwatch on. Looked for one anyway and got held up at gunpoint. So, uh, wristwatches have a very um, interesting significance for me. So, sometimes I wear them, sometimes I don't. Okay, here is a pen, and here is a, another pen, which I got down south, Trust God, and this has some religious um, signs on there whenever you actually click it, it changes, so always keep the Lord first and foremost. And here is a new edition, this is a pen with a small cutting implement on the inside. This can be used for multiple tasks and or perhaps in a pinch uh, self-defense. So I'm really just integrating this into my system now and um, we'll see how that works out. And of course it is still a functioning pen. You can write with it. So it's somewhat clandestine. Somewhat. Perhaps not now though. <laughs> Okay, here is my uh, field and stream. I believe this was the hiker model. And it has the LED light in there and the whistle on the end. So it's the three function. Uh, pocket knife still works well. Uh, the lock is a little iffy nowadays. So um, I'll have to work on that to get it uh, more secure so that if I need it for heavy duty activities it can do the job. Okay, here is some pepper mace defense spray. So that's my everyday defense. I cannot carry a firearm every place I go. So that is pretty much what I do carry with me whenever I can. There's certain places that I can not carry that as well, nor the knife, nor the pin knife. Um, but when those situations arise, I just uh, dress accordingly. And lip balm, still carry that. I have my lighter here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm seriously thinking about replacing this. Whoa, what a jet. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too much. So I'm seriously thinking about replacing this with something a little more efficient. All right. And I'm still using my cobalt multi-tool. Um, even this is starting to get a little worn, but it is still head and shoulders above anything that came with my Gerber multi-tools, uh, at least as far as the case is concerned. And, you know, if the case starts to come apart, what good is carrying the multi-tool in it? And I haven't really been able to find a good replacement for it yet, perhaps, uh, or, or as far as the... Um, the Gerber ones are concerned. Perhaps I'll just go back to the manufacturer for one. And my cell phone is basically just a track phone style. Here's my web belt all rolled up, nice and neat. Here is my well worn notebook that I use to take notes with. If I'm ever in a store and I can't remember the name of something, I just jot it down. 
And that way when I get home, I can do some more research on it to find out whether or not that product is something that I want to buy. So this thing is chock full of information. And it's pretty much used up its useful life. As you can see, it is more than threadbare. It's basically coming apart. So I'll have to retire this to a drawer somewhere and get a new one. These are my clip-on shades for my eyeglasses. I always like to keep um, eye protection as much as possible, even if it's just uh, eye protection from excessive UV exposure with the sun and just excessive glare as well. Prevents headaches. Headaches keep you from, you know, if you got a headache, you might take aspirin. So, you know, just to keep the medication out of my system as much as possible and not have to deal with the headaches. Um, I just clip on those and that usually does the trick and it uh, makes it easier to drive as well. They're polarized. And my keys. Here is my, um, let's see if we can find out the name of this thing again. The rescue me, rescue tool. You just put it against the window or you can use it to uh, fix your car window if you get trapped in there. Push it up against that. A little pin comes out, breaks the window, or if you can't get out of your seatbelt, there's a little knife cutting implement in there. You can see it, so you can just basically just let's see if I can do this one handed. Just pop that off of there. Well, that kind of shot off of it, didn't it? And you see the little knife in there, so that's to rescue me. And this is my flashlight that I keep with me. Uh, this is from, I believe it's, is it Coast or Coastal? Let's see if we can get a close look at this. Yeah, that's Coast. And I'll see if I can find the actual model of this. And it's pretty efficient. It's small, as you can see. My hands aren't overly big. It's perhaps about the size of my uh, pinky there so it's not that big you can, and it has a pretty good light too definitely enough to uh, get you through some dark spaces in time but in any case that's pretty much my updated uh, EDC video um, and this once again is my little tub that I keep it all in and so I can just take this you know someplace in my house where I can find it easy enough when I'm ready to get dressed or when I'm ready to leave the house and all my stuff is there just pop it on and away I go all right thanks for watching let me know what you let me know what you think about my setup I always appreciate any kind of input and anything that um, I may not have said in detail I can always annotate with the uh, the name of the product all right thanks for watching bye bye